Okay guys, so I'm gonna put this on my YouTubes so that you guys can review it. Um, we're doing a we're doing a full pro touring build on this 2002 Chevy SS Camaro. It's a SLP Camaro. Um, it's getting full full chassis stiffeners, um, Watts link, torque arm, full tubular K member, front A arms. Um, it's getting a full engine rebuild. 325 305 on the front you know texas speed 2.5 top end bunch of stuff so we're trying to assemble this we ordered back in june um, the client was gracious enough to understand parts train supply issues and we've been waiting for everything to come together so you now here we are with your guys's k member on the table and we've got the a arm slid into the k member and we got a couple issues here that uh, we want to address so this a arm here um, has got a pretty substantial gap in it in the misalignment spacers and with as thick as this plating is when we try to suck this gap out of here it's going to crown this plate I mean it's going to be tough to get the, crown, the plate to crown in the first place but it's going to crown it and then once it's crowned we're going to lose our adjustment slot front to rear um, we also noticed that on the factory K member because when we disassembled this car, I don't know if these are your guys's or BMR's, um, but we had the same issue on the factory K member when this came apart. You can see that that's got a crown to it. So there's that that we don't like. We don't know how you guys want to address it. And then with this thing fully assembled in place, we get this over here and we get our hardware put through the hole on this side but we can't we can't get that bolt through this side now we could probably force it but it's not going to be fun to force and it's going to cause premature bushing wear so you know, we kind of looked at this thing on the bench and it looks like that maybe there's some twistage going on here with this. But what I wonder is because we've got the same issue on both sides, that if it's not a jig problem or, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure. It's consistent on both sides, which leads me to believe that kind of you intended it that way, but I really feel like that this isn't right. So. Um, yeah, so we got the misalignment issue. I really don't want to have to shim it, being these are custom machine misalignment spacers. You guys could give me a better spacer, that'd be nice. Then we don't have to rebuild the K member. Um, but the A arms, I don't know how to work with this. So you guys let me know if this is a problem you guys have run into or what you want. Um, like I said, I ordered in June. I know what everybody's up against but i got the car in here tore apart now and my lift's tied up so the sooner i can get a answer to this question the better off we're going to be um i did want to take up a couple other issues with you and like i said this is a this is a full build and so i spent a lot of money with a lot of different people and i got a couple of gripes here too while i'm at it um this is a full torque arm from you guys and the uh, the cross member for the torque arm and in the instructions the pictures show that it has hardware with it um, but then in the actual instructions it shows factory hardware installed and I don't have any new hardware for this um, this is a like a six or seven hundred eight hundred dollar kit that I got from you guys same thing with the torque arm I think I remember this being disclosed on the website and I was like no I'll just get those locally but now that I'm kind of putting this thing together, I'm really am questioning like, really, I, I spent all this money on all this stuff on this car for this client. He's been waiting all this time. And you guys really just, can't you just give me the bolts? I mean, even if it's a cost issue, which I understand, I, I work production, I work corporate. I know how BOMs work. Just up the price five or 10 bucks and throw the bolts in the kit. And then we don't even have to have this conversation. I don't have to try to build a car to this caliber with factory bolts and you know I got my mechanic and me in here we're trying to put this thing together and you guys expect us to stop what we're doing and 
go get these four bolts. I mean, you sent us all those and all the control arm bolts and you know all the other hardware except for those two and these four it's it's a little frustrating and maddening for for us little guys out here you know you guys are big companies big i don't want to say huge corporations but you know you're bigger than my little 2000 square foot shop and we build a few cars a year kind of a deal but this is the stuff that really kills us i don't really have the time to sit on the phone and go to customer service and then ask for his boss and then try to get to marketing or like I know this is just an issue in production and if I get to the production manager or somebody they could fix it find out what's wrong with it and send me a good part and you know the other part of it is that I don't mean to take it all out on you guys but like sorry doesn't fix it you know and that's what I keep running into with you know well, we apologize things happen you get it but like companies like UMI and BMR and Holly and TCI and you know like I it's it's real frustrating for us just trying to get something done and I got my shop plugged up full of cars that parts came in wrong for I just can't get the parts for so anyway I'll stop griping and you know like I said in my original email the powder coating looks really good your guys's products are really going together fine other than the a-arm issue that I got you know I know we're all struggling for employees so I'm not trying to you know totally be a dick but I spent a lot of money on this stuff and this guy he, he spent a lot of time waiting and and it's frustrating for us to have to go through this so anyway i'm going to send this off with the explanation and please if you can get a hold of me and let me know um i'd love to work with you guys in the future i mean if you want to think about sponsoring a build or my channel or whatever like let's collab or whatever because i'm not out to just bash everybody this is cool stuff and i just want it right for the customers i do things the right way so anyway Sorry if that was too much. Appreciate you if you watched the whole thing. You guys take care. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Bye-bye.